الحمد للہ رب العالمین وصلی اللہ وسلم علی نبی محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said in Sahih Muslim as recollected in Sahih Muslim A dunya sijin al mu'min wa jannat al kafir. The dunya, this worldly life, is a prison for the believer. And it is a paradise for the disbeliever. In the explanation of this hadith, some of the scholars point to the fact that it doesn't mean that the believer does not enjoy anything in this dunya, or that it's a place of just misery, but rather that, yes, the Muslim is governed by the Quran and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Muslim is restricted by the Quran and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and that for the disbeliever <coughs> that disbelief because they are unrestricted unrestrained this is the end result for them. This is the beginning and end for them. Because they didn't believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and confine themselves or restrict themselves to the boundaries that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prescribed for them, that this is where they receive their pleasure. This is their jannah. So along with that, I want to remind myself and my brothers and sisters that they should always ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for goodness in this life as well as the hereafter. And they should always try to use this life, the goodness of this life, benefit, reflect, use it as a reflection. This is why I enjoy coming out to places of solitude like this, to reflect on the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to see and wonder at his vast creation to see and hopefully encounter some of his creatures that he subhanahu wa ta'ala has created and he has created all of this he's created mankind in jinn for the purpose of worshiping him subhanahu wa ta'ala but everything in creation bows down to the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in one form or another. And they go with the fitr that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created them with. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنُ وَالْإِنسِلُ لِيَعْبُدُونَ I have not created mankind in jinn except for the purpose of worshipping me. So our divine purpose is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we can use these signs to reflect <clears throat> to reflect upon the creation of Allah Azza wa Jal and use it for the benefit of our own Iman as a way to reflect, as a way to get away from the challenges and strife of city life and the difficulties that we face in this dunya 
the complexity because here it's a very simple existence and just getting away even if it's just enjoying just for a minute is a very simple process and a process and with it with hopefully a good and beautiful result and hopefully as a means to rejuvenate someone and redirect their iman and refocus their iman and understand that this creation is temporary and it can be deceptive at the same time it is wonder has wonder wonder and magnificence because of Eliza Wajel it's his creation he created this beauty and these bounties and this environment we benefit from so taking care of the environment Tahara Navafa cleanliness purity purification are all good attributes and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves the mutatahirin wa mutu toabin he loves those people who often come to him for that spiritual purification that toba and those who keep themselves clean and keep their environment clean and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be of those who reflect on his signs and benefit from his creation and use it for our benefit to bring us closer to him subhana wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam